Throne and Liberty is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft, which will be released in first half of 2023, and we have already found out that classes in this game will not exist. But instead, you will need to pick a weapon, and on that way you will actually pick a role which you will play. Huge diversity of beautiful weapons are waiting for us in this game, so in today's video you will see part of my live stream and find out what kind of weapons you will be able to use in Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Throne and Liberty content in the future. I am live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. Because I was kind of studying, so far we have get a lots of different kind of gameplay footages from a Throne and Liberty and uh, we have get some information regarding weapons which we will be able to use in this game. So for this evening uh, I will show you every single weapon which we have seen so far you'll be able to use in Throne and Liberty. So let's start here with this part of gameplay footage. You can see here this is from Director's Preview. First weapon which you can see here is Bow. Probably you have heard about that, that in Throne and Liberty we will not have any kind of classes. However, by picking your weapon you'll be able to decide which role you want to play. So you'll be able to use two different kind of set of weapons at the same time. You'll be able to switch between those two sets. Here in front of you, you can see first weapon, bow, and you can see here on the waist of this character, a crossbow. So first weapon, bow, looking pretty interesting, beautiful design. It reminds a little bit on lineage weapons, but that's not strange because this is game from NCSoft, right? So, uh, main weapon you can see here currently in hands, this character is holding a bow. On the back you can see arrows. Will you need to buy some arrows or not? That remains to be seen. Uh, that wouldn't be impossible because we have seen in some other games like Ion uh, in early patch notes, a uh, ranger or archer kind of class needed to buy arrows actually. Later they have changed that anti-soft, but for the start you needed actually to buy arrows. So first weapon you can see here a bow and on the waist you can see here crossbows. Let's go further, let's see what we have here. So now we have just the same character basically uh, switching the weapon. Now we have bow on the back and in hands we have crossbow. Again, one very beautiful weapon, and obviously here, this role of the character, this class, let's say it on that way, will go for a ranged damage with uh, arrows, with uh, projectiles, right? So, this is actually pretty interesting. Also, just to mention, uh, wind in the game will have influence on your skills if you decide to play uh, with this kind of character, which will use uh, arrows as uh, weapons, right? Actually, arrows as projectiles, because... If it will be a day without wind, then you have normal skills, which you have for your projectile skills, right? If it will be a windy day, that is amazing, right? That kind of influence of weather on your skills, then your projectiles, including arrows, will fly much further and they will make more damage. Imagine that. That is actually pretty amazing, right? So this uh, character went uh, for a ranged kind of damage uh, during windy weather. Yeah, more damage and uh, higher range of uh, higher distance regarding your uh, range for your weapons. Let's go further. Let's see what we have here. What did I prepare for you? Another character here we have seen also during director's preview. This character is uh, holding, I mean, one hand. If it's using one hand, usually, usually it should be a sword. Uh, if it's a great sword, you should hold it in two hands. However, this is not a combat. This is just a stance. This is obviously some kind of big sword or great sword. And again, on the waist, you can see here uh, two weapons, uh, two daggers or some kind of little swords. Let's check actually the same character, basically just switching weapon. So uh, this character is doing something else. Obviously, melee kind of combat, right? A melee kind of combat style uh, using a great sword or swords. Again, beautiful design of weapons, and again, reminds a lot on a lineage. If you have ever played lineage before, then these weapons remind a lot on that style. They're not exactly the same, clearly, but uh, it's very similar. So, this would be another interesting setup, right? This role, obviously, if you don't enjoy playing a ranged kind of classes, 
range kind of role then you'll play this kind of character which is having a melee kind of abilities right with great sword and with swords or daggers this is a too sh a too long to be dagger and then a too short to be sword it's something in between right so let's go further let's see what else did i prepare for you this evening okay this is interesting another interesting combination right on the back of this character you can see some kind of stuff and in the left hand we have a spell book so this would be some kind of magical obviously kind of class caster uh, will it be able to heal maybe probably right maybe even only dps who knows however this is another interesting setup right right so spell book and a wand another another interesting weapons and already now you can see huge diversity of weapons nothing too, too strange i would say usually the games which we are getting from the east including most of the games from NCSoft in the past, uh, from Blade and Soul, uh, from Ion, uh, from Lineage. We have seen huge diversity of beautiful weapons, so I have no doubt regarding Throne and Liberty, we will not have issues regarding that. So you can see here another interesting combination. Obviously, this character will go for some kind of magical kind of damage. I will show you a little bit later. You don't need to necessarily to decide only within those combinations, right? You can combine Wand with Greatsword. You can combine whatever you want. Basically, any uh, two types of weapons you can combine in the game. Okay, so further here we have another interesting combination. Like I have said, this character on the back is having some kind of sword or Greatsword. However, in the left hand, you will notice a staff. So magical weapon. So combination of magical weapon and physical kind of weapon. Let me show you uh, this, uh, this character in motion. Check this out. So magical damage, obviously here with a staff, right? Let's go a little bit back. It's actually pretty short uh, footage, but it's clearly now here interesting uh, to see, right? That you can combine also magical kind of weapon. Now you can see, you can see in left hand, right? A magical kind of weapon and physical kind of weapon. Uh, you can switch between those weapons uh, here on the left side you can see a skill of this character during sunny weather and on the right side you can see skill of this character same skill during the rainy weather uh, what is the trick uh, what is the interesting thing about this during sunny day this skill on the left side i will show you footage again will hit only one target however during a rainy day on the right side this skill will actually hit few targets around main target so during the rainy weather this skill same skill is becoming aoe skill that's absolutely amazing so influence of weather on the skills let's check it again look at this oh no wait i need to go back a little bit let's go back to check again so on the left side you can see hitting only one target and on the right side you can see you can hit few targets just because it's raining absolutely amazing and what is interesting here like i said combination of weapons so you don't need to necessarily go only for physical kind of weapons physical damage kind of weapons or magical kind of damage weapon weapons right combination you can combine whatever you want right so let's go further what uh, okay so this is interesting so i was checking every gameplay footage we have get so far from nc soft uh, and i have found huge diversity of weapons here you can see in the right hand of this character this is x look at this right this is uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, we can see here race this is looking like some kind of uh, orc or something and it's really questionable is this playable character or not but i assume it is we can check a little bit of footage here however you can see here in the right hand of this character uh, it's having X. Is this a weapon for your character in the game? Probably yes. I'm not sure 100% because uh, uh, the only playable race in Throne and Liberty should be human. Uh, we have seen some elves. We have seen other races in the game, but not as playable characters. Playable characters should be only human. This could be human, some kind of small dwarf, something like human. Let's check a little bit. Uh, let's go back a little bit gameplay of this. Uh, this is a little bit before that. Look at this. Right? This is looking pretty interesting. So what kind of weapon is that? Probably axe. Uh, I see in that right hand, obviously it's axe. But is this playable character? It might be. It might be. On the right side, however, you can see here, let's go forward. 
Uh, I will show a little bit later that character. Uh, this is uh, actually something, another interesting thing. I can find this part of the gameplay footage. Here you can see two-handed weapon in motion. Some kind of big uh, great sword or sword. Uh, usually if you, uh, if you fight with a two-handed weapon, then it's a great sword. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but usually it's a great sword. Look at this great sword now in motion. I need to remove the sound. Let's let me show you. Wow! Did you see that jump? That was amazing. Let's go again. Wait. That is a little bit before that. Here we go. This is she now. Okay, now great sword. Wow! So different kind of combinations of weapons. Here you can see another interesting combination. So many weapons. Look at this here. Wait. Let's stop here. You see this? Another combination of on the back of this character, you can see some kind of great sword. I assume, yeah, this is great sword. This cannot be a sword. And on the left hand, again, a magical weapon. So you can combine whatever you want, and that is beautiful to see, right? So there will be some kind of of course, after release of the game, after a while, there will be some kind of meta builds in the game, for sure, that will exist, right? Meta will exist. However, it doesn't have to necessarily uh, to mean that you need to play it. You can play whatever you want, whichever role you like, right? I assume some combinations uh, will be viable uh, for uh, maybe for supporting, if not for healing or something at least for support, right? Some uh, combination will be more viable for tanking and some combination will be more viable for a ranged or melee kind of damage. So this is another interesting footage you can see here. Look at this character using both, right? This is interesting. Let's see what we have further here. Okay, yeah, that was a little bit from the start. So on the right side, you can see also Interesting, uh, this character having on the waist uh, sword or dagger and again in the hands. So let's check further what we have here. So this character on the waist, like I said, it has uh, daggers or sword. But what is using this here is some kind of magical ranged weapon. Look at this. It's looking like crossbow, but like kind of magical crossbow. Look at look at it again. Interesting, right? So regarding diversity of weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is looking really good. Absolutely amazing. Actually, a really good idea from developers of the game. Usually in MMORPGs, we have that situation that you're able to pick between uh, different kind of classes on start of your gameplay, right? Maybe you will play some kind of ranger, a ranger, archer, maybe assassin, maybe some kind of tank class like guardian. However, here in Throne and Liberty, you'll be able to pick between different kind of weapons and on that way, you'll be able to decide which role you want to play. Uh, that is that character again with, um, with a great sword on the back and with some kind of magical staff or, or scepter in the left hand. Wow, really nice. Uh, let's check what we have further here, what I prepare. Yeah, okay, so very often during different kind of gameplay footages, even within that first trailer, which we have got from NCSoft, we have seen shield. Yeah, I didn't mention this before, but shield and sword combination we have seen very very often uh, during different kind of uh, gameplay footage footages we have got so far this shield is looking so good let's go a little bit back here you can see look at this oh what a beautiful shield usually i like to play classes uh, which are using uh, melee kind of weapons here you can see a ranger or archer and uh, look at this shield shield and sword combination so another viable combination and i can study uh, lots of different kind of footages i can show you here uh, there is in some kind of uh, in few parts of the videos we have seen look at this big uh, big uh, splashy skills on the battlefield look at this character again interesting combination of this character let me show you here this character is having a bow and great sword on the back look at this let's go Check this out. So yeah, you can combine basically whatever you want. And uh, yeah, for this evening, I wanted to show you huge diversity of weapons, which you will be able to play and use in Throne and Liberty. I think I have covered every weapon we have seen so far. We have seen a different kind of bows, a different kind of um, swords, great swords. However, regarding types of the weapons, I would say something uh, pretty normal regarding types of the weapons, right? Uh, some magical weapons, some ranged weapons, uh, some uh, melee weapons. 
and generally huge diversity of weapons which is really nice to see right uh, something to be excited uh, to play in the future one day in the future very very soon in the first half of 2023 so if you are watching my live stream let's go forward with live stream if you are watching this as video on my youtube channel thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my youtube channel to see more of mmorpg content and of course throne and liberty content in the future i'm live streaming every evening about seven o'clock central european time so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in mmorpg and pc gaming world See you soon.